hello again YouTube so we got another video on the on the uh, escort and currently going through all the bits to do uh, from left hand drive to right hand drive conversion so on this video it's the wiper blades now here is my now done and converted left hand drive to right hand drive wiper arrangement and using a Vauxhall Astra modern wiper motor now it's uh, you can get wiper motors still for escorts, but they're quite expensive, uh, about 100 quid if, you can, if you're lucky enough to get one. And that's for an old second hand one, which might not have much life left in it anyway. But as this Vauxhall GM motor one was 20 quid brand new. So I thought I'd give it a go and glad I did because it's worked out. So keep watching to see how I did that. It was a right fiddle, I got to say. There was a few bits now I thought I, I, I put enough more than I could chew on this one, but we got there in the end. So keep watching, please do subscribe if you don't already and a big thank you to those who do subscribe, massive help to the channel. Right, this is all I have from my wiper mechanism that came with the Escort. <clears throat> so I had no wiper motor, uh, I'm missing a wiper arm, a connecting arm to go from there to there. I've got the, the uh, bezels to poke it through the, the scuttle. There was a couple of things I uh, immediately noticed with converting this over the right hand drive. Okay, so obviously it'd have to be that way around at the start, and that would have to be down here. Right, okay, that's all well and good. A problem we have here is these swing like so, but they can't come around there to swing, so I'm going to have to trim that down. The other thing I noticed is these are handed also. So I'm going to have to pull a circlip off there and see if I can turn that around 180 degrees. Same with this side. Uh, as it happens I have a mechanism from a Sierra which I broke a few years ago and kept because I hoard things and helpfully Ford have kept the use of that little uh, connecting doobie whatnot there it is the same as it used to be on the Escort. So that means I've got a connecting rod I can use. As for the size is another thing, whether it should be, whether those should be parallel to each other or offset slightly so the white, so the sweep changes slightly. So cross that bridge when we get to it and for a wiper motor because it was only 20 quid and it was brand new this is from a Vauxhall Astra up to 2002 or 2004 let's hack all these off and see what occurs Take that off as well, it gives me a bit of spread on the wires. This little P clip we can use it. Lovely. All right. Okay, so black and brown. So brown should be negative. We should put this through a fuse, but you know, there's a fun in that. There we go. And black is me positive. So theoretically, if I take this green and put it on the positive, we should have low speed. Or not. Aha! The smoke didn't stay in the wires. That's not a good start. Okay. Yellow is doing something. Why 
white. Okay, so white is high speed. Yellow is low speed. So what does green do? Is green park? Green's not doing anything. I think I might have melted that. Okay, okay, let's re rewrite those in. So white is high speed, not park. Yellow is low speed, which means green would have been park, but maybe that would have been grounded to park it. It didn't like being touched on the fly. Okay. Let's open it up and see what I've done to it. Yeah, okay, so green is the park mechanism. It's about how it makes a contact in there. Okie dokie. Right, okay. So brown is earth, which should make sense. That makes sense why these two are doing what they're doing. So fast and slow. So yeah, okay. So the black then is a park live really so it tells when tells the green when to go back to parks yeah okay i see how it works so you've got the that gap there which goes on to the black which is the permanent 12 volt feed and then you've got the the green there, which would be a feedback out again. So that would you can see a little mark there where I touched it, where I where it burnt out. Look, so that would supply power for the park. So when when that spins round, when it gets to the right place, like that, there. That's when it would give up and stop. So that would be your park. It's a matter of working out how to wire that in. Okay. Uh, the park would be to do with a switch, thinking about it. So when it's switched, when your wipers are switched off, then it would switch to that park. So that's connected to there, and that's connected to yellow yeah there we go there's our park okay <laughs> so there's normal wipers working off we go and when they're turned off then they connect to that to go to park so switched on switched off Switched on, switched off. We can now establish our definite cable. So brown is earth, black is our park permanent live, green is our park switch live, yellow is low speed, white is high speed. So we can work with that. And it's just a matter of when we come to wiring this into the car to make sure the, the park is wired in with the wiper switch. And that's future Dave's problem. We won't worry about that today. Right, and I've got the cables back under control and back in their sheathing. So, next challenge is can we actually use the wiper motor? I don't see why we can't. Because it's just a case of fitting it in there. So as long as that's in the centre and it's and the, the body itself isn't going to foul anything under the dash, I don't see why that won't work. Because all we need to do is work out our distance 
um, from centre to centre to work out our swing from this doofa beer. And for that arm that's going to go on there, I reckon we can do something with this and here because we've got that which is the right, um, I've got the right name of that is. Let's call it a pib nib. That's the right pib nib to go into our receiver there. Ball joint, ball and socket. Yes, that's what we'll go with. Um, so that'll go in there. That, once it's connected to that, will go around on an arc like that, which makes the wipers sweep, like so. So we do need to find out how what sweep we need for the wiper to work out our arc for that. But before we worry about any of that, we need to swap this lot around. Um, so this needs to be down that, that side and facing the other way, because this links into the bracket we made for the steering column. And these need to be swapped around. So I think what I'll do first is see is take it us all apart, see what happens with these, see if these can be twisted around and take it from there. Now the reason why I'm going through all this grief and hassle is right hand drive wiper mechanisms are surprisingly expensive for escorts. And the wiper motors are surprisingly expensive for escorts. So for the sake of 20 quid and using a few bits and bobs that I've got kicking about here. It's definitely worth a go to see if we can do something with this. And if we can, and if we can use that motor, then that hopefully will be useful for you guys with escorts. Because your wiper motors, when they burn out, means you probably be able to repurpose uh, one of these voxel Astro ones. So let's take this apart then and start shuffling things around, see what we got. Right, okay, so that's the way around it was. Can we twist it around 180 degrees is the question. Because there is a little locator on there, which is going to make life a little bit more difficult. Okay, okay, so you can see that there's a little peg there and there's a locating tab there for it to go into. So we want this to go 180 degrees like that. So I think it's a case of cutting out a new locating tab just there. Then we can get that locator to slot into there. Then we got the sweep. So there's the original, original position. We want it to be 180 degrees to that so that slopes the other way to suit the scuttle and we need to trim that off to allow this to sweep like so right okay I'll get the other get this one off as well while we're at it Lovely. It's the same again. If we put that under that side and locate in hot notch down that side, then we will be in the right ballpark. Now I guess they're there to stop the whole thing from rotating around. As it happens, the original one has a fair bit of Wapple about in it. So I reckon if I get a, a calipers on there, measure that <coughs> and make a, a more accurate hole in there with the Dremel. Just a little slot out of there with the Dremel, I reckon. Well, that is three millimeters. I wonder. Would, should, I drill a three millimeter hole in that and then Dremel to it. 
I think is going to be the way forward. Yes, let's do that. There we go. So three millimeter hole, and now we'll uh, scag away in towards that. All right, let's see how that looks. Yes, that's nice, and it's nice and tight in there too. Same, hopefully, be this this side. Yeah, there we go. That's a much snugger fit than it was before. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next thing to do is slice that down there. Yeah, oh, there we are. That enables that sweep there. In fact, I could have left a bit more on there. So on this side, I'll leave a little length on the little piece on there that help keep the strength in it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this piece out because it's starting to get in the way now to, for what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. So if I brush this off and I can see what looks like the, the old spot welds from the factory there. So let's drill those out and see if we can remove it. Lovely. What I think I'm going to need to do next is drill out the holes in the scuttle and get the pivots, the spindles back in this and then and get it up against the scuttle so we can work, out, work it out from there. So our first hole needs to be in this debris there. First hole is there. Just like that. If we measure from an edge, from one edge of a hole to the other edge of the hole. So if I stick with it, this left edge here, this left edge here, that gives us our centres, which is 565. So now going from our centre mark there to over here. Our center of the hole left and right. Same again, go from there to there, about 22 from there is our center of that hole. All right, next challenge find out what size hole we got. Here's our mechanism. All we want to poke through is that bit there, which according to this is 15.2. Seven, I think fifteen point seven, and our holes are eighteen. I don't see the need to go to an eighteen hole. I've got plenty to play with. Okay, we'll go with a. We'll start off with a. A smaller hole. Let's see where we are on our centres there. Well, uh, well, that lines up with our centres, so that's a good start. So let's go with a 16 mil hole first. A step drill. Let's take that off. Thank you. 
Perfect. Right, we can do something with that. Okie dokie. Right, so I've been messing about with uh, the strap banding to take some joking wiper blades and to get a feel for where we should be. So that'll be park just there and our full sweep. So the good news is the rod from the Sierra going across connecting the two together is fine. So I don't have to mess about with uh, shortening that or lengthening it or messing about with it. And all I had to do was put a bit of a kick on it so it would avoid the motor. So all I need to do now is measure the full sweep. But as it happens, that's on full as far as it will go one way. And that's as far as it will go the other way. So all you need to do is take this apart now and measure that distance and halve it. And that will give us the length of centre to centre we need for our rotating bit off the motor. So it's another step forward. Right, there we go. And that's it with the scuttle back in place. You can see that's uh, fitting on there nicely. Nice and central in the hole. And it's across the scuttle nicely. So the next challenge is to get the thing to actually work with the motor. There's full sweep just less a little bit there. And less a bit there. Measure between those two lines. 84 millimeters. So 84 divided by two is 42. So our center to center for that route for the rotating bit, which will be there, needs to be 42. And when that's rotating around at 42, that should give us our sweep. So the plan is to use one of these arms here for that. There's our center. There's our center there. 42. So if we flop that off, sort of around there, drill that through to go on our motor, we should be on the right ballpark. Now you notice I got this on the motor already. Is all I've done is simply drilled a hole in that and then put a, a eight mil hole in the centre of that. The distances from there to there, which is forty two millimeters, to give us our sweep. I think. And then I slightly beveled the hole on the back end of it with the um, uh, carbide burr in the drill, just so it'd sit a little way onto that bevel in there. And there you'll see what I mean about put a little tiny little chamfer end on the end of there, just to get that to fit over there. Not sure how well that's going to pan out, but we'll, like I said, cross that bridge as we get to it. Okay, so I think the next thing I need to be doing is mounting the actual motor to this bar here. I said it needs to be something like that. So if we turn that over, that means it's got to be something in that region there, which we can do. Right, let's make a plate up for that to mount on to first. Right, and for that, we can use a card template just to get us started. So we need to be 100 mil down and about 80, yeah, 100 by 80 to get us started. Right, get my bearings again. So in the car it sits. I've forgotten already. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, it sits like that. And we want to be slightly to like that. Okay. Oh, this is fiddly. Something like that. So, right, okay, that's our orientation we want. Get the right tool for the job, always helps. Right, so with that on there like so, and then that on there, can't be a million miles off. So what I, I'll do next, make a metal plate to copy that. And then we can bolt it all together, and try it in the car, and see how we get on before we start welding the plate on there permanently. Might be a case of just simply bolt it on there. The other thing I need to do off this as well is find a somewhere to tag it onto the car as well to, to support it otherwise the whole thing's going to flap about if it's only held on the bulkhead. That'll do us nicely. I know, let's see how this will fit together. Okay, so that's right, in the car we are angling like that slightly. Okay, that's good. Make sure we get next is the is our line centering up to that. We're getting somewhere okay so uh center of there is where we want that so if i fill a hole there and a hole there you should be able to bolt this up together Right, all I'll do is quickly chuck this in the car to test it first. Let's see how we're looking on sizes. And report back. Right, okay. That's too tight to fit. As it is. And what basically needs to happen is the whole motor needs to go that way quite a bit. So... So bolting it together was better than welding it together. In order for that to happen though, and the reason for that is, is the sweep on this is going to catch on part of the bulkhead otherwise, so it needs to, it needs to go up a fair bit. That's going to be a challenge because of that bolt there. Okay, dokey, I think we're gonna have to incorporate that bolt hole into the framework somehow. Which is gonna mean trimming this to allow that to sit in there somewhere. Right, if I drill a hole through there, it will receive that and then see how we get on. So we're going to need 
bit of relief in that, which we can do with a journal. Okie doke. Right. Okay, so where are we? Oh, just be round. <laughs> oh boy, this is fiddly. Now I probably need to put a little step in that now along there so that it will make up for that distance there. So let's do that next. I hear that will put washers in between there. It's going to be a fiddle to get washers in between, so I think I'll bash a step on it. And to put a little step in that, we will clamp this in the vise between two bits of nice sharp angle. And using the bolster, which isn't too sharp, but a nice clean edge on it, just tap it up. And that's probably all we need. Keep it straight. Lovely. And that then will step down over there nicely so it'll all fit flush. So I'll bolt that back together and then we'll drill through and bolt this under there, then try it back in the car again. So that's the mechanism together. Now rather than bolt this through there just yet, I've still got a little bit of give on that so I think I'll, I'll offer it up in place and see exactly where that's got to go before I fix that in place. So of course that's going to be, you should be able to have that sort of much movement on it. Right, let's wash it in place and see what happens. that'll do us. Okay so with it at that orientation we are on the something so I'll drill this through now to get a custom bolt through this and, and, and trim that off and then we'll look at sorting out this arm and getting that in the right place too. We are back to we have the motor connected now to that so the next challenge is make sure we're still in park so we'll do that next. So our oh, wires are ah. oh, brown is grown. Park live. Right. Okay, so we are in park. So, with it in park, and the wipers there, that should be where that, that needs to go. And of course that's going to get in the way. Okay, let's pop that off a bit. It's quite stiff, let's get some, get some grease in there. Bit of... Uh, Engine assembly grease on that should do us. That's where it wants to go. Okay, that's going to be a challenge. Of course, that's where it wants to go. Hi, right, let's see how that performs. Without that one connected. See if we're in the right area yet. Right, first test, let's see if it'll go round and round first of all. That's what that is, no, it will not. Right, what have I missed here then? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, what 
can we do about that? That's a problem. Okay, it's catching on there, and then it's undone that. Which means, annoyingly, that that now has to go, that's going to want to go, that needs to go down, which can't go down because then that's going to hit the bulkhead, so we're on a bit of a conundrum, yeah? To do about this. Pause my arm too long. Arms too long. Ah, oh, the problem. And the motor's in the wrong place. Uh, motor needs to go that way. This is a fiddle. This is a fiddle. Excellent. Okay. Uh, in my head, this was a lot simpler. This is getting uh, annoyingly difficult now. I thought I've made it unnec unnecessarily difficult for myself. Gives a bit of sweep on that. The other question this raises now I'm moving the motor across. Am I losing my clearances inside the car now? Okay, let's try bolting that down under that. I think we might have to clearance that slightly. Okay, we're almost there. Need to clearance that just there. Ah, yeah. Okay, because you see what's happening, it's catching on that bit there. So let's get a clearance on that first. Almost. Just a bit more. Right, we're getting there slowly. Need to take a little bit out of that as well for some reason. But that's not the end of the world, we can do that. Right, let's get this connecting arm on and see how this works. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oddly enough, with that connecting arm on, it now seems to be clearing down there better. Okie dokie. Right, let's see where we are with park, because that's important to get that right. Okay, so park's in the wrong place. Okay, let's try that. Uh, Earth. Park live. Where's that gone? Oh, there it is. Let's 
Yep. Okay, so wipers on. And then park. Lovely. Okay, so that's in the right ballpark area now. So all I need to do is drill through, put another bolt through there. Open that one out there, maybe. Yeah, open that one out there, I think. Drill that one and bolt that one down. And drill that open to bolt that through there onto the motor. So we're all clamped down nicely. But we're definitely pointing in the right direction now. So what I want to do now is try this in the car again and maybe get the wiper arms on it and set it to go to make sure we're not catching on anything inside the car next. All right then, we are bolted into the car. We've still got to work out some sort of way of stabilizing it because there's a fair bit of wobble on that, so that's not acceptable. That's no problem, we can soon run a bracket down, possibly from there onto that. That's where the, the heater matrix goes. Now that's plenty of space here now to avoid the heater matrix, so that's all good. And the wonderful news is we have working wipers of sorts with our joking <laughs> wipers of course. But you can see now, get an idea. That's a nice tidy sweep on that now. That's that's gonna work a treat. And Check that we got park. Oh. Touch that onto the green wire. There we are, we park nicely. Happy days. Right, let's take it apart now. And now before we take it apart, <coughs> let's work out a little tab onto there. All right, uh, so all I've done there is simply made a little bracket that was tagged on the side of the motor and that's given that a lot more stability there now so I should take all this out now fully weld that down there clean it up and I probably will weld this onto there it's just neater in the long run all right there we go that's it all welded on and our little uh, tab bracket there to hold it in place stop it wobbling about so that's okay there's a fair bit more work involved in figuring that out than I anticipated I've got to say so I shall chuck a bit of paint on this now, just to tidy it up. And, and then we can rebuild it. And then the other challenge we got is we got the old holes to weld up. That one there and the one underneath there. So we, uh, I'll paint that up and while the paint is drying on that thing over there, we'll uh, look at these holes over here. Simply all I'm going to do to weld these holes up, get a bit of steel in behind there, draw a circle around it, cut it out, and then weld it up. This one over there, I've got to dolly in a little bit before I start on it, but we'll do this one first because it's the one it's easiest to do and it's out of sight, mostly. held in place now by a nice magnet behind so we can start tacking that in now.
Aye, there we go. That's that one cleaned up and smooth enough. It's, it's hidden under the grill anyway, so once that's got a bit of paint in it, I intend to paint in here matte black, so it's out of uh, it's like out of view. Um, that's cleaned up all right. It looks that's just a bit of surface rust there, which is crept under, but that's that's okay. I can live with that. That's okay. Right, on to the other side then. Quite a metal finish finish but a little skimmer filler will go over that and uh, that'll be fine it's very very you know it looks a lot worse than it actually is but i'm, I'm happy with that a little skimmer filler over that we'll, we'll clean that up nicely that's that hole there lopped off for a for a second while i was doing it i had a panic attack i thought i was doing the wrong <laughs> filling up the wrong one but that's fine it is the right one and then of course we got our, our hole there ready for the new rack is all in and ready to go. Right, oh, <coughs> let's rebuild this then. So let's have a little, little quick patch of paint tonight. Nothing's too fancy or special. Um, just to tidy it up and keep the rust at bay more than anything. So let's rebuild it. Now I put the motor back in the park, so I know that's definitely where it needs to be. So we can sheath off these cables one last time. And what I've done with the uh, bit I took off it. Where is that gone? Okay, I can live with that. Right. That's, uh, that's okay. For, say for a, a car, I'm probably very rarely going to drive in the rain, only if I've been caught out. They will do to give me wipers. Okay, so there you have it. A Vauxhall Astra wiper motor for 20 quid. Um, that's off a of Sierra, but if you've got, if you've already got, I've only had to use that because I only didn't have the entire wiper mechanism so the question is can you convert left hand drive to right hand drive using a modern motor yes you can the other question is should you well it's a it's a lot of work a lot of head scratching um if you're doing it commercially i'd say no because the the cost of labor involved would be horrific um but if you're doing it as a hobby like i am then yes because this has only cost me 20 quid and a bit of time fiddling about and it, and it works, it does the job, it's a new motor, and happy days. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that was proved useful. Like I said, um, 
if you do it for a hobby, and I think it's definitely worthwhile going through the pain of doing because to get hold of right hand drive wiper motor uh, complete mechanism, they, they, they're going for silly money now. We've got a couple hundred quid. I don't really see why is it's not that much value in them to be honest. Uh, but hey ho, so it is possible to convert left hand drive over to right hand drive, but as you can see in the video, it's not particularly straightforward. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please do subscribe if you don't already, because it does make a huge difference to the channel. And, uh, that, and that helps me out. Um, and getting a little bit of money out of the channel now, which is helping me put into the vehicle. So that's fantastic. That's, uh, that's helping to push the, the projects along. A uh, little Manta update. I, I mentioned in my last Manta video, should I go for the 400 kit? Um, got quite a lot of thumbs ups to that. And lots of people like that idea. So. I've gone and, and, and spent some of my hard-earned eBay money and bought a 400 kit for it. So watch out for that. Um, I'm on Instagram, by the way. So if you if you like Instagram, do follow me on that. It's Dave's underscore garage underscore YouTube. And you'll find me on Instagram. I'll put a link up on the screen at the same time so you can see it. Thanks again for watching and please come back for next time.